Welcome back to the eBike24 channel. I am sitting here on a bike with the very brand new Bosch Performance Line CX Gen 5, the latest motor generation from Bosch's full power motor. I just got back from a test ride. We rode a few trails, were able to test the new motor, the new Purion 400, and also the ABS. And in this video, I'll give a short review of my first impressions. Specs wise, the CX Gen 5 motor has remained the same, offering 85 Newton meters of maximum support, up to 600 watts of assistance, and up to 340% maximum assistance of your own pedaling power. Nevertheless, it feels like a whole new motor because it has been completely redesigned, especially when you ride it for the first time. In any case, the most noticeable feature is the improved noise level on the road. It may not be immediately obvious, making you think, okay, yeah, we still have a full power motor and it is still present, but as soon as you take the first turns on the trail, you completely forget that the motor is there and it is also pleasantly quiet on uphill sections. That has been significantly improved. We now have the option to adjust the motor overrun directly via the pedal. This is similar to what was introduced with the Bosch Performance CX race, where the motor continues to run for a short distance even after the pedals have stopped. We can now control this independently on the CX Gen 5 motor simply through the force applied to the pedal. This means the harder I give it a little kick, the more powerfully it pushes me forward. Particularly handy when I'm standing on the pedals going uphill and perhaps need to get over a route without having to make a full pedal movement. It is incredibly useful. I have had moments here and there where I really noticed, okay, this has given me that extra boost forward and helped me get past that small push. In this context, the walk assist has also been optimized, which might seem a bit strange at first. For me, as a more casual rider, it's a super cool feature. If you need to dismount in a steep position on the trail because you have somehow lost your footing, you have the option to activate the walk assist by holding down the minus button. It simply pushes you up. When you stop, the bike is held in place for 10 seconds, so you can simply let go of the bike and it won't roll back. If you want to get back on, you also have the option to do a small kickstart by holding down the minus button again. The bike then starts very smoothly, giving you enough time to get your second foot on the pedal and you can climb such inclines much more easily. I tested it, and the motor performs great, as we know it from Bosch. The power is there, it's fun, and with the new sound environment, it's a significant improvement over the Gen 4 motor. Before my review of the first test ride continues, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and don't be one of the 90% who still haven't subscribed. So hit that subscribe button, and now, let us continue with the video. I was also able to successfully test the new electronic shifting from THP in collaboration with Bosch on the bike. Here's just my short personal feedback, super awesome, it was a lot of fun. And it really took away that feeling of having to constantly think about which gear to shift into, especially with a new bike, and made everything flow so much easier. The electronics took over everything, maybe it didn't always pick the perfect gear but it always found a good one to keep me going, and I had a ton of fun with it. And. Especially for the everyday casual rider, this is definitely a cool feature that allows you to focus more on the trail without having to think about shifting gears, whether you're out on the trail or riding around town. And we were also able to test the updated ABS, now in the Pro version, and I would say it definitely met my expectations. So we still have the ability to maintain more control, even when braking hard on gravel or on the trail, you still have excellent control over the bike, with the Pro feature, you now of course have the opportunity to push a bit harder. The rear wheel can lift slightly as well, so you have a bit more leeway there. It definitely makes a noticeable difference, gives you more safety on the trail and is simply fun. What the ABS Pro still cannot prevent is a sideways fall, just as my colleague Matthias experienced when he had a little tumble to the side. However, he is doing well again now and is on the road to recovery and has been in good spirits again. So the ABS can't catch you on the side, but falling forward over the handlebar is not really possible in this pro mode anymore. That should be an overall brief summary of my first impressions of the new Gen 5 CX motor. You can find more information about the new motor on our blog. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you here again soon with the latest news about Bosch e-bikes and everything else that moves you.